community kuna community fulani huko Kenya ilikuwa na one of the greatest heroes one of the greatest greatest and heroes hiyo jamaa yani alikuwa ni huge na kwa na muscles hivi angewahi pigwa na any tribe na ama kikosi chote cha watu this guy one day wife yake akakama kamuuliza eh hey, babe inakuwaje kwani wewe kwa ukishiki bana watu mm, unapiga kila mtu kwani hizi nguvu zako ziko wapi akakuja akamwambia babe nataka nikuambie siri lakini usikuje kuambia mtu hii siri niko nayo kamwambia kwamba hizi nguvu zote za niko nazo ziko na my shadow hapo ukitaka kunimaliza fanya nini dunga hiyo shada yangu na mimi nitakuwa nimeisha nguvu so hiyo community the leo community ukakama kakuwa tena na wao eh hiyo bibi yake huyo akakuja akamwambia nini akaenda akawaambia the opponent kwamba huyu jamaa mkutaka kumweza dunga hiyo shadow hiyo tu shadow hiyo shadow hiyo dunga hapo mkuki ataisha nguvu mtamaliza na yeye so vinyo walikuwa wanapigana one of the guys akatokea from nyuma akakuja akadunga shadow huyu jamaa akaisha nguvu akalala chini flat hiyo hiyo troop ikakami kamdalia kumaliza this guy was none other than none other than Dama Gere yeah. the guy was called Luanda Magere that's how Luanda Magere died na hii ni lesson kubwa sana ambayo inatuambia secrets na pia wife si mtu wa ku trust sana si mtu wa kumpea si mtu wa kumpea vitu zako sana sana eh so to the story tunateremka parts za Kenya pale tunapata kijana mtulivu kijana mmoja anajulikana kama JM Karioki ambaye amekuwa minister pale Nyandarua amekuja amepewa amekuwa MP pale Nyandarua amekuja amepewa minister of tourism and wildlife sasa hivi anaitwa cabinet secretary lakini hizo siku za Kenyatta walikuwa anaitwa minister anakam anakuwa minister anapiga kazi safi ana shida anaenda na kuru anaingia kwa restaurant yake na bestie yake wanakunywa mkahawa pale one of the guy na come in anamwambia anampea message na kumwambia kwamba the things that you are doing will one day come and face the consequences anapatia notice na anaenda so jm anabaki anashanga ai mbona huyu jamaa anakaa mtu wa dropland anaambia kitu kama kwa ni shida iko nini tukipiga flashback nyuma kidogo tunapata kwamba the government one day walikuwa wanataka kushare mali billions of money wanataka wagawane mashamba pesa ni kule pesa ya serikali na pesa ya umma lakini this guy was against it so this guy was campaigning all around huko nje akiambia watu what the government is doing na ki preach against the government so he was used to say that why should we make millions and yet millions of people out there on fire ni wana safa why can't we use the millions and help these guys so the government was like ah bana bonu jamaa nafa nafanya hivi so akapata information kwamba the government wanaongea opposite paka wazao wakienda kwa parliament wana raise eh wana raise issue kumuhusu yani motion JM Karioke motion JM Karioke so one of his friend akakama akamwambia idea aka akatafuta one of his friends huyo mmoja alikuwa naye pale kwa restaurant huyo mmoja akamwambia kwamba nitafutie because yeye alikuwa close to the president nitafutie vile nitafanya nini itaongea na prezo nataka nimueleze nimwambie I'm sorry for what I did even I believe the government should not be against me and I'm not against the government just an opinion in an ato so before u jamaa aende amtafutie nafasi kumbuka kama kawaida madakta eh hao watu wakubwa wakubwa you know wanakuwa na ma personal doctors tunaita ma home personal doctors aka kama akamwambia AGM Nakumbuka hizo siku za maumau maze ulipigwa ulipigwa dead sana ingu imefaa ni imefura na hii mwili yako inataka nini a hot a hot climate change so we do hivi enda pale UTC book basi fanya nini teke teke hadi wapi hadi Mombasa JM ni nani akakimbia pale akabook basi in the morning aenda wapi aenda Malindi afanye nini abarizi huko kidogo like one month hivi two month alafu arudi tena Nairobi kama mwili shafanya isha hapo unakumbuka ule best yake ule mwenye alikuwa naye huko kwa hoteli huko akamwambia JM kuna nimesikia eh, 
mahali watu wanasema hivi na hivi na hivi nataka udu hivi hiyo mission yenye unataka kwenda usiende kuna setup umepangiwa so jm kufika kwa bus station akafanya nini akashuka so kushuka immediately hata bus haijasonga at a certain extent hiyo bus ikafanya nini ikalipuka all of a sudden ikalipuka almost at least 50 something or 20 something people wakafani wakaiaga so the watu walifikiria jm kwa but jm alikuwa afasha afanya nini ashatoka ameenda so after some weeks tena best yake flan eh, so eh, before before best yake mwingine akama ampe information the government ikamnyang'anya gun eh, so at that time wakatuma dc hizo masiku wadau ah ma dc walikuwa wakali sana achana na saima dc awasikike wasemezeke mm-hmm. hizo siku dc angekama kikwambie kitu it's over mara that that umefutwa kazi umefaa nini whatever ya bingo na chuo jamaa kanyang'anya pistol yake ikachukuliwa na dc ikarudishwa the government so jamaa akakuwa armless so ben gedi who is a gsc akakama akamwambia kuna meeting imepangwa eh, that place now saa hii inajulikana kama nyati house imepangwa kwamba there is a meeting unahitajika pale you go and do what eh, there is a conversation a panel inakui inakuita and hawa jamaa hii plan yenyewe wako nayo mimi kwangu sioni kama ni plan nzuri na juu umenyang'anywa pistol fanye hii this is a gsu pistol which kwa and na hiyo case of it geno case of anything na nafanya nini na niko na wewe because wewe ni bishita yangu naenda na wewe naenda na wewe wanyi eh, jm nene nani akachukua pistol akaweka ben gedi akafanya nini akamfuata ndio eh, ben gedi akafanya nini akamfuata teke teke eh, wakafika nyati ya uso akapata pani limepangwa hapo mlango ben gedi akaingia akafunga mlango akaweka kiti akakaa kwa mlango JM na akafanya nini? Akaenda huko nyuma ni kama yeye alikuwa na debu so ya huko nyuma alafu watu wamefanya nini? Watu wamepangwa hivi. Panel eh, JM huko bengedi wapi? Bengedi huko. So teke teke meeting ikaingia. So jamaa fulani alikuwa anajulikana kama wanyuike tuku. Wanyuike tuku ni za reserved police officer. Yeye ndio alikuwa anatembea na na mzee Kenyatta hapa na hapa ila alikuwa anamfungulia mlango but now tunaona sasa hivi wanajeshi ndio wanafanya nini wanafanya hiyo kazi ya kufungua milango wanafanya hii eh? wanafungua milango wanasimama nyuma ya the president akifanya nini akiongea jamaa ali chapa JM Kufi mate kutoka mimi kafanya nini ikaanguka chi ikaanguka chini na hapo ndani Ben Gedi alikuwa pale kwa mlango yeye peke yake ni anajua nini JM hapo na nini kuna pisto. So Jema akaona eh hey, huyu jamaa anampiga aje kofu. Kwani nimemfanyia nini? Akataka kutoa hivi pisto. Kumbuka Ben Gede akiwa huko, yeye ni Jesus and all Jesus hii kitu, ma sniper. Au watu hii all Jesus are snipers. Jamaa anataka kutoa hivi pisto. Ben Gede akiwa huko first fight. Shoot mkono. Aka aka disable mkono. So Jema akashanga for the first time. Ben Gedi anampiga risasi mimi. Hii mimi rafiki yangu mimi peke yangu. This is the only friend mimi kwa nani ananisaliti anampiga risasi. So Ben Gedi hakutaka ajue nini? Hakutaka eh, the president Mzee Jomo Kenyatta ajue kwamba JM aliingia kwa hiyo meeting na priest na kwa sababu alikuwa amenyang'anywa. Na hiyo priest na JC sio wangejua Ben Gedi ndake angestakiwa na yeye peke yake ndio alikuwa hapo kama jeshi. And nakumbuka JM he was a momo fighter. So firearm hii pia ni mno ni mnoma kutumia firearm angetandika watu wote na information ingefikia the president kwamba JM amechapa watu marisasi na ameheba. So the question could be ametoa the pistol na amefanya nini? Na ame na na alikuwa amenyang'anywa. So hao watu wakaanza kufikiria ai uja mama tutamfanya aje this guy alikuwa very mouth jm hi kwa mdomo hi chiriku onge mweza so akafikiria ai this guy ana meno mwana tu akona bandage so we imagine akienda huko nje anze kuambia watu eh hey, wase mnaona nini ilikuwa huko wametaka kuniua una sina meno ndio hii niko na bandage niko na bandage 
ninawaambia ni nawaambia hawa watu si wazuri uko na bande niko na nini sina meno so these guys wakaanza kufikiria wakasema ai ni jamaa tutamfanyaje nakumbuka Ben Giri bado wako pale kwa mlango na ama yake hapo baridi ametulia so by the time hawa nafikiria atafanyaje huyu jamaa Ben Giri akatomo akachomoa tena pesa zingine JM ikamkula kwa that JM chini anakufa so these guys wa ai huyu jamaa tushamua atakuwa tumepanga tumuue at first then so it has is instantly happened amefani amekufa so what shall we do so by the time wanafikiria bado the government ikatoa rule ya kwamba all meat carrying vehicles zipakwe red red na ziandikwe jina meat so these guys were going this is a good idea idea wakaenda chini wakapata one of the lorries waka hijack bio bio jaya makabebwa akaeka ndani so hilo lingekuwa inatembea on the road unaona damu ina drop damu ina drop hata kama ungefuata ungeona hiyo lori imeandikwa meat na mipaka red so ungejua nini hiyo ni lori ya nyama so mapolisi angeweza kuifuata takateke mwili kabebe kafani kapelekwa ikatupwa pale ngong forest na ngong forest sisi wote tunajua kwamba iko na wildlife animals mafisi wamejaa kwa ndani kama nini lakini luckily ama funny thing is that hakuna mnyama the wamasai people walisema kwamba hakuna mnyama yote mwenye aliguza mwili ya JM walipiga report wakasema kwamba there is a man mwenye anapenda kungara sana na ngara amepatikana anaeuawa and by that time information ilikuwa imeshafika kwa watu wa media ya kwamba JM ati amepotea hayuko so watu wakaleta shida hiyo kwa eh na kwa je jema hayuko jema amendo wapi moi akapewa information aenda atangazie press meeting aseme kwamba Ben Gedi hayakufa ametoka ameenda some business meeting atarudi so information ikakuja ikafika kwamba there is a man mwenye afani amepatikana ngong forest na huwa ana ngara anavua masuti and these people wanajua kwamba JM ndio mwenye anafanya nini huwa anafanya ana ngara anavua masuti so wana habari tekateke kafika ili kabebo ikapelekwa wa eh Nairobi hospital kafika na hospital wamelock watu kwa mfika so watu wakajaa information ishafika kila mahali JM anafanya anakufa ikakuwa gazeti JM day So watu wakasema mna mdanganya jema muda business meeting yeta lofani amekufa jo mbona mnatuambia kama za mtuambie kweli so teke teke moi akatoa kitamba akaanza kulia akasema why are people telling me to say wrong information to the public and yet they know what is happening akaenda akaambia watu wenyewe wazee mimi nimekosa mimi niliambiwa tu niseme lakini muongo huyu jamaa yenyewe kweli aku amekufa lakini atujui nani yanaku nani yanakufa pale kwa mochari ilikuwa ngumu watu kuingia huko ndani ili ujamaa afanye nini ujamaa waweze kutambua ni nani anybody akienda so ni watu wamekaa hivi nje kukaa hivi kuconfirm wanapata kwamba wamefungiwa so watu wakajaa hapo nje ya moga hapo hivyo na rubio hospital hapo hivyo wanapiga makelele wanataka kuona hiyo mwili so wakiona watu wanatoka ndani wanaona watu wa county wamevaa wamevaa nini watu wa county wamevaa wamevaa kodi za nini za hospital za hospital so unachanga hey wewe dali wewe unakujua una unafanya nini hapa eh unafanya nini hapa so unachiki unasema hey so jamaa anasema kwamba sisi tuko hapa lakini kwa hivyo na hivyo mziki wa sasa nitakuambia kwamba ile yenyewe huyu jamaa huyu amekufa familia yake yake inataka idisposi idisposi ishirikane na kwamba eh amefanya nini amendi Ah, ikaleta nuks pana ikaleta shida hiyo ni matanga ileta shida mzee mbona wanafanya hivyo watu wakakaa mwangaja hapo hivyo ikabidi hiyo mwili imechukuliwa mzee ikapelekwa wake akafanywa matanga so hizo vitu zote sote kinds of things lakini hiyo mwili ilikufa disposition hakutaka wajue huyu jamaa amewawa na kwa men watu watu so people wakajua kwa majema ame assassinatedwa by the government ivo and it was done everything how it was planned kakami kajulikana what happened everything so kaleta this chaos mzee 
Uno venye jam, aliweza ku DD jam. Uno venye within a short period of almost 20 minutes alikuwa shawa. Everything in my bank but it was revealed whatever it happened. Na even na venye ilikuwa mazee jam alikufa tivo, alijaribu ku change the way the government wanted to do things but nothing happened waka cheki wakaona kwamba mambo yake kama italeta shida because jamal kufatiwa miserably hata tu dairi tunaona kuna tumbo wale assassinate lakini at least their names zimeweza kuwekwa even kwa barabara pale tunaona the tumbo ya streets lakini jm hata tu jina yake kuwekwa mahali hata tu ile ile mchongo yake ile kinyago itengenezwa mahali asema ni kinyago ya jm hakuna yani there is no any history of this guy aliacha because wale mwa at an early stage mzee that was how jm went what it is now it's a past na uh, even of the story kana isha hapo ndo tunakafungia mazee kama imekubamba kama ime kama kawaita mbogi injili tusambaze sisi wote peace